If you are looking for a fully funded PhD to study in Sweden, I got you covered in this video. Keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. The name is Daddy Cliff. In this channel, I provide scholarships to study in South Korea where I currently live and in other parts of the world but today in this video i will be talking about getting a fully funded phd to study in sweden sweden is in europe and i guess you already know it's a great country where you can actually move with all of your family so in this video if you already have your masters and you're thinking of getting a fully funded scholarship to study in sweden because in sweden they do consider phd as a job which means you will be working while doing your phd let's look at how you can go about getting a phd to study in sweden the first one is to go to karolinska institute it is a university in sweden or an institute a research institute and they have a lot of phd positions and you can see it from the very beginning the first one is doctoral position in immunology and the deadline is today unfortunately but if you keep on going down you will see that we are here in february the third that one that's the deadline for application to get that position as a phd student and then you equally have doctoral position in the field of breast cancer bioinformatic and the deadline is the feed of march all you need to do is click on one if you click on that one it will take you to the next page and then you would find the detailed information about how to go about applying for this scholarship so you would find the eligibility requirements here it's divided into a and b so you have to make sure you read it well and then fulfill the requirements and then they would equally tell you about every information about the scholarship so it says type of employment phd placement and then contract is full time and then the salary is on a monthly basis so you have all of the details here all you need to do is just click apply for position once you click on that link it will take you to the next page and then you will have to now fill out your information you fill out your information and then you would have to upload your CV, cover letter, other files. If you have work experience, educational information, you fill all of that publications. If you have some publications, it's normal that you should have publication if you've already done a master's degree because what differentiates people who are academicians is that they have to do publications. And then you have references, you have to provide references. And then if you have any language certificates, you have to provide it. If you already know Swedish language, you have to input it there. So you just have to read through and make sure you fulfill every requirement for this scholarship. Now, the next one is at Uppsala University. They have a lot of positions for PhD as well, as well as postdoctoral positions. So you can just go through and then look at the different positions and make sure you find one that suits your taste or maybe the field or career of studies that you would want to go about applying for so if you keep on going you'd find that there are different deadlines for application make sure you follow the application deadline so if you keep on they have a lot of positions for phd candidates you can actually even subscribe to be receiving those notifications so let's say you decide to apply for a position as a phd political science student if you click there it will take you to the next page and then you will find the detail requirement the eligibility requirement information about your duty requirement and then what you must have in your application curriculum vt you have to provide the cover letter with not less than 50 words so you just need to read it and they say it's unemployment you have to know that most phds in europe are employment and then they say submit your application before or by the 3rd of february all you need to do is click here for apply so you have every information about the scholarship here so if you click apply it will take you to the next page so on the next page you have to input your information and then answer some of the questions that they have here upload your cv a cover letter it's a page that you can always come back to so 
don't worry you can take your time to make sure you understand the application process before you apply you have to equally provide them with your transcript contact information for references so after you must have finished you can co always come back here and then submit if you feel like you need to come back later on you can pause the application here the next one now is at Lund University still in Sweden they have 101 vacancies so it begins from project assistant urban area test bed and you have the application deadline last date last application date here so you can just like go through see here it says doctoral student in biology if you click there it will take you to the application page where you would have like the information about your duties so this is the application button admission requirement additional requirements assessment criteria terms of employment like i said phd in sweden is employment you would have every information about the phd the way they would pay you on a monthly basis monthly basis number of places just one so if you click apply for position it will take you to the next page the application page it will take you to the application page where you have to import your cv cover letter other files information about your work experience education courses if you have a website references remember you would always have to provide references and then if you have language certificates like IELTS TOEFL and then you have to click I understand and then all you need to do is submit your application but if you feel like you want to come back later on and continue you can always pause your application here and then the fourth one is at Umia University they have open positions at Umia University so if you look here it says temporary position longer than six months 100% so this is the application deadline the 31st of March so you have the different application this this one is February 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 so it keeps on dropping if you keep on going down you would be in January January 23rd this one expires tomorrow so the process is the same you just need to select the position that you're interested in applying to click apply and then you would go to the next page where you can find information about the position for the phd that you'd want to apply for and then admission requirement uh, information about the position and then how to go about applying the various documents that will be required from you like cover letter curriculum vt copies of degree documentation and description of other relevant experiences and then you have information about how you would go about the the scholarship position like its salary and it's on a monthly basis and then you have to apply before march 31st contact person information this is it alexandra bartel so if you click apply it will take you to the application page so in the application page it says apply for phd in computing science with focus on computer security you would have to answer some information and then upload your degree information transcript then here it's other relevant documentation like maybe you've had publications into international journals all you need to do is just input them there and then you would have to fill in your address upload your cv cover letter order files and then you click on this verify robot and then you have to select i understand and then once you're done applying you can always click the submit button to apply so that was number four umia university we have number five it's not the end so number five is add me to nevi set that that name is not easy to pronounce they have two vacancies they have a phd in engineering physics and one in trustworthy edge computing you have the application deadlines this one is this first of february this one is the seat of february all you need to do is just click on that link the thing is that always make sure you come back to this video because i'll provide the link to these scholarships all they usually do is just update whenever you come to this video you click you will notice that they've updated the the current positions that are available so you can like read the job description preparation for employment terms of employment and then 
expected starting date you have to start by the 1st of april and then they say salary according to the mid sweden university salary scale for phd students so you just need to read and know that you fulfill the terms of requirement for application and then now you have to click on login it will take you to another application page so this is the application page where you will up, you will fill in your information about your name your address date of birth cv cover letter you would have to input your degree certificate if you have publications if you have your bachelor's or master's thesis you upload here and then other research publications so it's easy then next one is you have to provide information about your references once you're done you can always click the submit button or click the pause button to come back later on and continue but then that is not the end what is sweet about Sweden and Europe is that they have two websites where you can always go and look for PhD positions to apply let's look at those websites so the first one is academic positions academic positions has a lot of information about universities in sweden all you need to do is click on phd in sweden and then you would find a lot of information will come out about phd positions in sweden like this one is wallenberg wood science center they have phd and postdoc position at wallenberg wood center so if you click here you would find the details about the scholarship position and then you can like click on apply now so this is at the kth royal institute of technology you can always read here to have full information about the the scholarship so all you need to do is just click apply so if you go down you'll find even Uppsala, lula university mid sweden university southern university they had lots of programs and then you have page two right up to page five and then maybe even page six wow there are lots of positions it goes right up to 49 so just take your time and look for for something that is of interest to you so i think it sweden ends here because the next is belgium apart from academic position they have another one the next one is nature.com this is nature.com all you need to do is just type PhD in Sweden and then information about PhD position. This is senior lecturer, associate professor at Forest Genetics, Umea University. If you click there, you have detailed information about the position. So just go through it and look for something that might be of your test, something that you think might be what you want to venture into. And then look at the conditions for application and then apply so that's it about applying for a phd in sweden the video has been long let's end it here and i will see you in the next one but first remember if you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye